There's a lot of concern about the economy right now. With inflation at a 40-year high, and yesterday the Federal Reserve took drastic action, boosting interest rates by three-quarters of a percent. So what will this mean for you? Our Evan Kosloff joins us now to verify. So, Ev, what'd you learn? All right, 0.75% may not sound like much, but this is a big increase. It's the largest single-day hike since 1994. So let's talk impacts with the help of our sources. We spoke with Dr. William Edward Spriggs, a professor of economics at Howard University, Valentina Bruno, a professor of finance at American University, and Jill Schlesinger, a CBS business analyst. And according to our experts, the biggest impact will be on borrowers. Although the Fed doesn't actually set interest rates directly for things like credit cards, mortgages, and personal loans, it does control the basic rate which banks use. And those consumer interest rates typically follow the Fed's lead. The immediate impact will be that if you go and buy a car today, it will cost you more. If you go and buy a house, it will cost you more. The idea is to make people want to delay those purchases. And the idea is that will slow demand. As for current homeowners, Bruno says the impacts all depend on the type of mortgage that you have. If you have a fixed rate mortgage, you are safe. That's fixed. It's not, you, if you have an adjustable rate mortgage, well, then it's going to cost you more, definitely. The bright side to all this, if you're a saver, your money's going to go a little further. CBS business analyst Jill Schlesinger says you should see a little more interest in your checking, savings, CDs, and money market accounts. But she says there's a caveat. Banks are notoriously slow to pass along increases to customers. If you're looking to park money for a few years, you may want to consider the government's inflation-linked savings bonds. They're called I-bonds. They're paying 9.62% through October. And if you want to buy one of those I-bonds, you can visit treasurydirect.gov. Okay, meanwhile, the big question is whether this interest rate hike will work in fighting inflation. Our Howard University expert is not so sure. He says this will certainly lower demand because we'll be less likely to make big purchases. But the rising rate does little to fix the supply chain problem, which is driving up prices in a big way. Leslie? Driving up prices and holding up deliveries mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, too. <laughs> All right, Ev, thanks.